most important way I could distill it is the union we have is the states created it, the federal government didn't create it. So the kind of price of admission is every state gets two senators, congressmen based on population, and then electoral votes based on that population. So you kind of get a mix of both. And it's also this tension. And I would ask the question, if we abolished the electoral college, do you think that the needs, wants, and interests of Missouri, Kansas, Iowa, North, South Dakota, Montana would be taken as seriously as New York and California? That would be my question to you. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back going to a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Charlie Cook gives Libra students an education. According to Charlie Cook, we could love kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. Yes, but you said you have an issue with the government not uh, representing the will of the people. So if you personally have an issue with that, then why do you support him if that is not the will of the people? Right. So will and majority are two different things. Right. So are we a democracy? You're not, you're not here. Are we a democracy? Should we be? No, but are we? Why should we not be? Is that not a core fundamental point of uh, American society? No. Has democracy appeared anywhere in the Constitution? I mean, that is genuinely a valid point. However, your point of the government should represent the people, mm -hmm. why is it that democracy is not? in the Constitution, or why is it that you believe that the will of the majority is not as important as the will of the minority if your issue specifically is the government should represent the people better? Good question. So we believe in the Electoral College. Why? Because Kansas deserves a voice. Because mm. Missouri deserves a voice. And it's the most important way I could distill it is the union we have is the states created it, the federal government didn't create it. So the kind of price of admission is every state gets two senators, congressmen based on population, and then electoral votes based on that population. So you kind of get a mix of both. And it's also this tension. And I would ask the question, if we abolished the electoral college, do you think that the needs, wants, and interests of Missouri, Kansas, Iowa, North, South Dakota, Montana would be taken as seriously as New York and California? That would be my question to you. Do you believe that some citizens are more valuable than others? Because in our current system, some people's votes hold more sway than others. Because people in like Wyoming, who have smaller populations, have more say than places like here in Missouri and Kansas. Why is this acceptable if it's, again, your issue is the will of the people. Because we're not a democracy. So a democracy is simple majoritarianism. So let me give you an example. In a democracy, by up or down vote, you could say, I want to enslave black people. A constitutional republic says, no, you're going to have to go through a process to do that. So let me ask you a question. Do you think the majority of the will of the people could ever be wrong? Yes. OK. So the founding fathers knew it could almost assuredly be wrong, right? So the system of a republic versus a democracy is it has to be slow and arduous and intentional because it has a preference on liberty, right, not on free stuff. And so over a period of time, how do you best protect liberty? Well, you've got to spread over all the representation over space and time, right? So you do it over a lot of states, a lot of square miles, a lot of acreage, and it takes a lot of time to take over the federal government, right? You have to win an election, and then an election, and an election. It's not impossible. We eradicated slavery. We gave women the right to vote. So it's possible to get change done. But the Founding Fathers were less concerned about getting progress done really quickly, and they were more concerned with the government doing bad stuff too quickly. Does that make sense? But that is not what you said. You said that your specific problem is the government does not do the will of the people. Why is it that your will and what you want is more important than that of the majority? Well, it's not my will. It's the f framers and the system we have. But to answer your question, I believe the best way to determine the will of the people is through states' rights and states' directives. If Kansas wants to say, hey, we can have decentralized gun laws or school choice, God bless Kansas. And so the question is not, it's national will also versus state will, right? So the, we have to recognize that the values of someone in Kansas, in Manhattan, Kansas, is a lot different than the values of someone in Manhattan, New York. It's a lot different. And so through a democracy, 
it'd say, hey, the people of New York City want to have firearms confiscated. I don't know how, I don't think that dog's going to hunt in Manhattan, Kansas. Well, Kansas State University, so I don't know. But it allows, answer your question, it allows people that disagree with one another to live in the same nation. You see, a Republican-style government, small r, allows people that might agree on almost nothing to still engage in self-government while still having a national project to, to participate in. So to make, clarify it even more, it is a question of the consent to the governed. If it was just a democracy, it would be an up or down vote on every single person, and that's it. The Founding Fathers saw that fail time and time again. Athenian democracy, people just vote themselves stuff. So they said, we have to have some sort of system that realizes that if men were angels, government would not be necessary, but men are not angels, so we got to create some sort of government. Federalist 51, as Madison said. So we got to figure this out. So government is necessary, but we don't want to have too big a government, and people are just going to vote themselves stuff all the time, so how do we do that? Well, local is better than national, but you got to have some sort of a national influence, and so they created the great balance between Jeffersonian and Hamiltonian type philosophy, as we know, is the U.S. Constitution. And the one thing they all agreed on, though, is human nature. They knew that absolute power corrupts absolutely and that people were likely to abuse it. So I would just kind of counter by saying the will of the people can be best expressed through a multi-state project. For example, I believe an election is much healthier and much more representative by requiring candidates to go to Iowa, Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and not just spending time on the coast. Because you know why? It might seem as if, oh, we don't need those flyover states. We don't need them. First of all, that's arrogant, prideful, and wrong. How exactly are you going to feed your family, and where do you think the breadbasket of the world comes from? The founders saw ahead. And the final thing I'll say is this, is that it was Hamilton, or Ma it was Madison that said, we cannot have the tyranny of the cities over the farmers. Yeah. And that, that's built into our system. Thank you for being here tonight. i got to get to the next question. Thank you. Um. I agree with Charlie. And the student has uh, she was asking question with question. I feel like she she was at first attacking Charlie because the, she, Charlie was asking a question and she was asking Charlie a question back. There was no answer being shared until Charlie answered her question. Um it's true what Charlie said about the democracy as everything. Because we have to have a balance. You might be as a whole, we are all selfish. So the founding fathers they they, they noticed that um, more speaking and who human being is, we have to come to a conclusion about um, the democracy as a whole of um, electing someone who who like an, a government, a government body who will be able to like control, not like control everything, but control what the citizens do. Something above because human beings are no angels. We are not perfect. We have errors and flaws. So there must be some something above or like a high authority that people kind of like respect and that governs every single person around. So that's exactly what Charlie was trying to just tell the young lady. And I just pray she gets the point clearly. So I love Charlie's point of view. I love how he answered the lady. And uh, I love that the, the conversation itself was not toxic or hostile or, or insulting. I love how Charlie answered her perfectly. Like... There were some words he used about the founding fathers and some names he mentioned. Uh, I, I've heard about them before, but I need to go make more research about them too. This was amazing to watch. I comment down below, talk about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as you can, subscribe to China. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't know, papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales all